I'm afraid they have awaked and tis not done. The attempt and not the deed confounds us. Look. I laid their daggers ready. He could not miss him. Had he not resembled my father as he slept, I had done it. My husband. I've done the deed. Did thou not hear a noise? I heard the owl scream and the crickets cry. Did not you speak? When? No. As I descended? I... <laughs> Who lies in the second chamber? Donald Bain. This is a sorry sight. Foolish thought to say a sorry sight. There's one did laugh in sleep and one cried murder. That they did wake each other. I stood and heard them. But they did say their prayers and address them again to sleep. There are two lodged together. One cried, God bless us. And our men the other, as they had seen me with these hangman's hands. Listening their fear, I could not say amen when they did say God bless us. Consider it not so deep. Wherefore could I not pronounce amen? I had most need of blessing, and amen stuck in my throat. His deeds must not be thought after these ways, so it will make us mad. Methought I had a voice cry, sleep no more. Macbeth does murder sleep. The innocent sleep, sleep that knits up the raveled sleeve of care. The death of each day's life, sore labor's bath, balm of hurt minds, great nature's second course, chief nourisher in life's feast. What do you mean? Still he cried, sleep no more to all the house. Glams hath murdered sleep, and therefore Cordor shall sleep no more. Macbeth shall sleep no more. Who was it that thus cried? Mm -hmm. Why worthy thing you do unbend your noble strength to think so brain sickly of things? Go get some water and wash this filthy witness from your hands. Why did you bring these daggers from the place they must lie there? Go carry them and smear the sleepy groom's blood. I'll go no more. I'm afraid to think on what I've done. Look on again, I dare not. Infirm of purpose. Give me the daggers. <laughs> Sleeping in the dead are but as pictures. Tis the eye of childhood that fears a painted devil. If he do bleed, I'll gild the faces of the grooms with all. For it must seem their guilt. <laughs> Whence is that knocking? How is it with me when every noise appalls me? What hands are here? Ah, they pluck out mine eyes. Will all great Neptune's ocean wash this blood clean from my hand? No, this my hand will rather the multitudinous seas incarnadine, making the green one red. My hands are of your color, but I shame to wear a heart so white. I hear a knocking at the south entry. Retire we to our chamber, a little water clears us of this deed. How easy is it then? Your constancy hath left you unattended. Hark! More knocking! Put on your nightgown, lest occasion call us, and show us to be watchers. Be not lost so poorly in your thoughts. To know my deed, to a best not know myself. Wake, Duncan, with thy knocking. I would thou couldst. 